Hi, my name is Joel Phillips. I'm CEO and founder of ProShark, um, software development company and digital marketing agency. I am also the director of technology at Strategic Advisor Board, strategicadvisorboard.com. And we get a lot of requests. We get a lot of requests for information on how best to survive and thrive in the digital marketing age of today. Um, with a lot of the changes, they've it's been become a lot more challenging for companies to have par positive marketing ROI. It's become challenging for companies to navigate the digital space. So we decided to start something called Tech Tip. Tech Tip is going to be a short three to five minute video, and we're going to do it on a regular basis. And that video is going to cover a topic or series of topics. What we'd like to do is have you, if you have questions that you want answered, this is the space that we're going to answer them in. You can send your email to techtip at proshark.com. Again, that's techtip at proshark.com, T-E-C-H-T-I-P at proshark.com. And we will be happy to answer those questions. And with this series, we're going to start with something that's, very challenging for a lot of companies, especially small to medium-sized businesses, and that's the digital footprint, specifically your website. It's a very difficult area just because there are so many things that are happening that are changing the dynamics of websites and how they work for people today. It used to be that websites were simply a business card. They were a, if I've got one, great. If I don't, great. No problem. But now with over, I think, 98% the last time I checked, people starting their purchasing decisions online. If you don't have a website that meets the needs of today's market, you're costing your company significant amount of business. Now, all of you know that you have all of these advertisements. Hey, build a new site, make this new site. But the question becomes is, do you invest all of this money into creating a new site? Maybe you've just created a site, but there are some challenges to that site. And we're going to start by pointing out some of the challenges that you may have to an existing site and how you can deal with them. Today, we're going to cover website optimization. So say you've just built this beautiful WordPress site or Shopify site or Duda site. Say you've built this beautiful site and you come to find out that Google now ranks based on something called Core Web Vitals. What does this mean to you? This means that if your mobile version, if the mobile version of your site doesn't load in about three seconds, one, you're going to get penalized by Google. Two, you're going to lose a, a significant majority of people because we're an impatient crowd significant majority of people close or they abandon your website if it doesn't load on mobile in about three seconds. And mobile has become the go-to place for people to open up websites and start interacting with you as a company. So that said, the question comes down to, okay, do I keep building new sites to meet the increasing demands? Because Core Web Vitals will now directly impact Core Web Vitals being the Google set of metrics that determines where you rank based on the performance of your website um, that directly affects how your site is ranked. So I think that we'll probably go a little bit more into the Core Web Vitals today. And then tomorrow, we'll start covering some of the things that you can do with an existing site. Maybe you need to move to a new site we'll start taking a look and providing some of the information you need to make that determination. Um, Core Web Vitals is, is a set of metrics, like I said, by Google that determines how your website performs both on your mobile platforms and on desktop platforms. Um, tomorrow, I think we'll go into, I'll show you how to rank your website, how to tell how your website performs, when Google specifically looks at your website. So that's it for today. Thank you for viewing and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.